Hi, tea timers. Um, so I'm drinking um, the Black Pico again today because it's really, really lovely. It's um, made at a small tea place locally and um, it's really nice. And I have a little bit of cream in it. I hope you all had a good weekend. And, um, and congratulations, we've been doing this for one month and it's really exciting. So woohoo, I didn't know when I started this if anybody was going to watch or if anybody was going to subscribe and um you, and you guys did and and for those of you who don't know subscribing because actually i'm like using all these youtube terms but there's a, a thing you can just press it's totally free it just lets you know and they won't email you anything apparently but they just let you know when i have a new tea time up so you don't miss them so if you want to just click the subscribe button okay so um i've, oh, I've got to take a drink of my tea because that's what we do Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I, I probably say that a lot. So um, I thought what I would do today, because I don't know if some of you saw it, but uh, Cassidy, who's also AKA Fantastic Tilly, did this beautiful thing where she put a picture from each tea time and, um, and, th and said the tea time one month anniversary. So I thought in that theme, I'll answer, well, I'll, I'm going to go to, she had a, one that I did one of, um, what was it called? She said, she had asked, do you have any memorable stories from you and Jen's first few years in LA? How was it living together? So I'm gonna tell another memorable story about, um, well, memorable to me, cause it's stuck, it's in my head, about Jen and, and me living together. So it was around a week after I showed up in LA to, to be with Jen and she was showing me the ropes of what to do for acting because I had my little SAG card. We went down and got my SAG card from Dancing and Fame. And, um, and so apparently that was real precious. I didn't know, I didn't know that that was a big deal, but she said, no, it's a really big deal because now you can audition for things. So we got that. And then around a week after I arrived, she came home one day and she was, a little concerned and she said oh no 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 I don't know what to do and I said what happened and she said well you, I, I was I was walking along because she was rehearsing a play and she was walking along and this guy pulled up next to her in his car and he started chatting to her and then he parked his car and he got out and he ran up and caught up with her and he asked her out on a date and she you know tried to say no but she didn't know what to say and and he seemed nice and everything and so she said to and i said oh no because i had lived in new york i'd been in new york for a, a year and a half doing ballet and you know you got to be careful and so i was like oh no jen and and i said you didn't give her him him your ad address did you and she goes yeah, I did. I said, oh no. She, yeah, she said, yeah, he's going to be picking me up at seven o'clock. We were really scared because we didn't know, you know, you'd hear stories about some guy who is pretending to be a, a nice photographer and then he takes the girl out on a date and then murders her and leaves her alone in the desert. So I was like, okay, okay, here's what we got to do. I said, did you get his ID? Did he show you his ID? And she said, no, no, I, I didn't think to ask him. I thought he might think I was weird. She said, but you get his ID, okay? So I said, okay. <laughs> so there I am, you know, with my hair down to my waist. And, and I looked really young for my age. And um, I had braces on my teeth. But I was going to protect my sister. So I, I, I thought, like, what are my fiercest clothes I can put on? So I, I put on my old beat-up jeans, and I put on a, a G jacket because that would show them. And then, but then it didn't look tough enough because I still had, you know, my long hair and braids, and I was a skinny little dancer body. So I thought, oh, what else? And then I, <laughs> I found in the back there was somebody had left a, 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 what is it, link of chain. So I, I managed to get that through the loops of my belt and I knotted it like it was a, like it was a belt. And I was like, yeah, I'm tough. And so then <laughs> this guy shows up at, at our little one room apartment. Knock, knock, knock at the room like, oh, heart's pounding on to go, yeah. <laughs> through, through the thing and I look through the peephole and there's this, this skinny little guy with glasses. I go, 
who is it? And he, hu, hu, hu. I can't remember what his name was, but he said his name. And I said, oh yeah. I said, well, prove it. And he goes, prove it? <laughs> I said, I want you to slide two pieces of ID under the door. And, and he said, I ID? And he said, "Ah, I, uh, I, I don't have any. I, 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 I don't, I, I don't have any." ID. Now, now, now that I think of it later, I realize he must have been lying because how did he drive there without ID? But he said he didn't have ID, and I said, "Well, you can't date my sister without showing me some ID." And he goes, "Well, I, I, uh, I, I have a library card. Well, that done." I said, "All right, well, slide your library card under the door." <laughs> And just standing there like going like this behind the door, like, yeah, yeah, get his library card. So he slid his kind of motley library card and I said, I am writing down your name and your library card number. <laughs> so I wrote down his name and his library card number. And then once he, once he did, then I, I, um, I, uh, opened the door and undid the chain and I opened the door and I said, okay, you can date my sister but I've got my eye on you and I've got your library card written down. And I had it written down on a piece of paper on, and I was holding a book. And so then they, he's like, oh yeah, okay. And Jeff's like, May, like, like it wasn't partly her idea. So then they go out the, go, go down the hall. Cause we were at the very back of this little apartment building and I, I fall and she goes, okay, you can go away. And I said, no way. Cause we'd already discussed this. <laughs> I said, I'm writing down his license plate number. <laughs> So, so they went down the hall and I stalked behind them in a very professional manner. And I, um, went outside and, um, I, I stood there and they were getting in the car and I yelled, I'm writing down your license plate number just to make sure. And so I wrote down the license plate number. That guy couldn't get out of there fast enough. He took off. Jen said they were in the car and he was kind of sweating like, what the hell was that? And then, um, uh, he said, ah. Uh, yeah, your uh, and Jen. Wh what was that about? My sister said, "Oh, my, my sister. She's she's a little weird." I didn't know she did that. She didn't tell me that till later. <laughs> so they spent a good portion of the evening talking about um, how weird I was. Although it wasn't a very long evening because I I think maybe he thought it could run in the family. So they weren't gone for long. <laughs> so that's one story about Jen. Another story I remember was. Um, when shortly after I came as well, my sister, um, she was, she's a real theater buff. So she wanted to know what, what musicals, when you were living in New York, cause I lived in New York, she goes, what musicals did you go to see? Cause she loves, 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 loves musicals. And I was like, I, I, I didn't see any musicals. She was horrified. <laughs> you lived in New York for a year and a half and you didn't go to any musicals. I'm like, no, no, but I went to a lot of ballets because in New York, you could buy a ticket for $7 and you could stand at the back of the, on, on the ground floor. Well, and it was a little bit less for up on the second floor, but I like to be on the main floor and you could watch these beautiful ballets. You could watch Barishnikov and Gelsey Kirkland and, and, and all of these beautiful dancers for $7. And sometimes once a, a lady came, and she was all dressed up and she was wearing a fur coat and stuff. And she said, excuse me, dear, my husband couldn't come. Would you like to sit with me? And I said, oh, okay. And so I went with her down into the fancy area, right low down in these plush velvet seats. And But I actually didn't like it as much because I felt really shy and like, was I supposed to talk to her in the intermission? And and I didn't know what to say. And, and um, so I, I preferred standing in the back in the dark but anyway, so I'd seen so many ballets and also my ballet teacher, cause I was there on full scholarship. She would give me uh, free tickets sometimes because there were a lot of professional ballet dancers at her school and they would give her house tickets. And if she couldn't go, then sometimes she'd give it to me or Nancy Rafa, who is now the, the head, the ballet mistress of ABT. So I would get to see a lot of ballet, but I didn't go see any musicals. So Jen's like, that's just sacrilegious. And so she looked up in the paper and because we didn't have internet those days, it hadn't, it, maybe it had been invented, but it was like in big, big buildings that, you know, take three rooms to hold the computer. So she looked up in the newspaper and she said, all right, the best little whorehouse is playing. I'm going to take you to a musical. Uh, she hadn't seen that musical either. So 
we got all dressed up and um she got the um what jen does when she's gonna see a musical or at least she did when we were young is she gets the tape and then she plays the music over and over and we learn songs so we learn the songs some of the songs i don't remember very many because we didn't have a lot of time to get ready so we learned some songs and then we went and for special occasion we went we were living on normandy and there was a chicken a popeye's chicken place on western so we went there and we splurged and we each got a piece of fried chicken that was really crispy and crunchy and tasted so good and i'd never had that kind of chicken either and then we walked to the theater and we went to the theater and and it was it was fine i mean we saw the show and people sang and people danced and but you know i was a dancer so i was like oh some of the dancing's good but some not so much <laughs> i didn't tell her but we came out and Jen was really happy and we were singing songs from the musical and we were walking on the street in, in Hollywood and this people were, but people were kind of in a hurry. They seemed to be running and this guy who was running past and he goes, girls, girls, get moving. There's a sniper on Howard Johnson and, and, he, and, and he's shooting people. And we were like, oh, oh no. And we didn't know what to do. So we started running and then I remembered seeing that movie, um, The In-Laws and I said, Jen, Jen, Serpentine, Serpentine time because it's harder for them to get a beat on you because we used to hunt when we were little if you're doing this if you run a straight line it's very easy to so we were serpentining but we were scared and our hearts were pounding 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 and i could taste that popeye's chicken in my throat so when we got back we were still quite quite scared and jen said okay that wasn't really uh the, the musical experience we're gonna go to a, another musical but we're gonna go to a really really good one so we saved up and um, she said, Avita's coming, and I think it was on a month or something like that. So that gave us plenty of time. We got the tape. We learned all the songs. So we knew all the songs. And, um, and we knew the whole plot and the story, and it, we were excited. Uh, Jen was a little more excited than me because she was really, really musicals. And so then we drive, because it wasn't at the theater close by us, and we drove and we got to the theater. I remember we sit down and um, the house goes dark and the music starts up and I'm thinking it's going to be a pleasant evening but um, you know I don't know what to expect other than I know the musicals and I'm, I'm music and I'm with Jen and then all of a sudden I feel Jen's hand land on mine and she starts she squeezes my hand really tight and um, I, I glance over at her in the darkened theater and she's gazing up at the stage as the uh, curtain is starting to lift and she's got this expression on her face like like she's like meeting God or something. It's just one of awe. And as I watch tears start going down her face, that's how much Jen loves musicals. So um, that's my tea time for today. Um, let's see, oh, 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 one other thing. You know how last tea time I said I was going to read, um, I bought, I had purchased um, Susan Elizabeth Phillips book. Her, her book is um, Dance Away With Me. I read it. I just finished it, not last night, the night before. And around halfway through, I'm so happy because when you um, read somebody's book, and especially if you know them, you're like, oh, I, I, I hope I like it. I really, I really did. Around partway through, be, be forewarned. It's really emotional. I was... Um, there's one certain section, I don't want to do a spoiler, but I was bawling my eyes out. Like I was sitting there, you know, reading and having to wipe my face. So, um, so I read that. I started reading Christina Dodd's book, her, um, and, uh, it was really scary. <laughs> I started it last night and I, I had to I had to scamper back to one of my old Amanda Quick Faithful's mistress because I was too scared. I was like, oh no, I've just read the prologue or the first chapter, I can't remember what, and I couldn't sleep. So you know me and scary. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, um lots of love and a happy one month anniversary. Oh, 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 oh! I had to do this because my husband around um Oh, around a weekend, like three weeks ago, he figured out how to put the subscribe button. And, um, and he's like, oh, you're supposed to tell people if they like your show, please subscribe. And I always forget. So today I did this. Is it backwards? Subscribe if you like it. And um, that means just click down there. And it doesn't cost anything. It's absolutely free. All it means is that when you go to YouTube, 
if you do, then you won't miss one of my things because it'll show up in your feed and you can either watch it or not. So bye, tea time. A happy tea time, tea timers. <laughs> bye. Oops. Oh, I can't get up. I'm stuck. <laughs>